It was a $24 million project in the middle of the Southern Ocean. The aim to rid World Heritage listed Macquarie Island of rabbits and rodents, which were threatening the remote spot's precious flora and fauna. After almost seven years, all the hard work has paid off. This update from Tracy Bowden, who travelled to Macquarie Island as the eradication program began. Macquarie Island is as spectacular as it is remote. In the middle of the Southern Ocean, halfway between Tasmania and Antarctica, it's a haven for millions of seabirds and marine animals. It's a pretty amazing place to live. From a biological point of view, it's almost like living in some sort of nature documentary. There are so many animals packed in such a small space. But rabbits have been wreaking havoc on the island. Introduced by sealers as a food source back in the 1870s, their population grew to more than 100,000. They destroyed bird nesting burrows and caused extensive erosion. Eradication was the only answer. 7.30 was there in 2011 when after years of planning, the program finally swung into action. This really is a remarkable spot. The, uh, the penguins, these are king penguins, one of the species on the island, and they just wander right up to you, clearly not at all afraid. Elephant seals are flopping all over the beach, but their environment is under threat. The first step towards totally wiping out the non-native species was aerial baiting across the island. Any individual that remains uh, means that we've failed in the, in the entire project, so there's, there's no half measures with success. Um, and a single breeding pair left on the island of, of mice, rats or, or rabbits would mean that we've failed in that, in that goal. I think it's the first dog training class ever in the middle of the Great Southern Ocean. For the next phase, a special team of dogs and their handlers made the long journey to the sub-Antarctic on board the icebreaker, the Aurora Australis, with trainer Steve Austin. What you see now is, is um, the end result of probably 40 or 50 or 60 dogs that have gone through processes that haven't made it. These dogs are the cream of the crop. These are the SAS of, of, dog, of rabbit dogs, you know. The dog's job was to track down any rabbits remaining after the aerial baiting. It's slow work, it's not a fast job. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of holes around and you've got to stand around and just let the dog work and trust your dog. When your dog is telling you that there's something down that hole, um, you believe him and go for it. It was tough work in often cold, windy conditions over rugged terrain. Even after no rabbit sightings for months, the hunting teams had to keep going. In three years, they covered more than 90,000 kilometres. But it's all been worth it. This week, the project was declared a success as those who made it happen arrived back in Hobart. These guys were part of making that successful. To see them now, come back so healthy and happy and be a part of that great result. It's just the highlight of my career. Eradication project manager Keith Springer says there are already signs of recovery in the island's flora and fauna. It's been uh, three, uh, three summers now since the aerial baiting and, and the, the rabbits are gone and, and each summer the, the, uh, the visual impact is, is just huge. There's uh, tussock growing everywhere, there's Macquarie Island cabbage flourishing. It's been a long time and it's a really good uh, position to be at to finally call it successful and walk away knowing the job's been done. It's really fantastic. Lucky Tracy Bowden to have reported from that extraordinary place.